I live in Kentucky where we have cool things like bourbon and horse racing, but we also have some of the worst pollution from our electricity because of coal. We not only produce a lot of coal, but we use a lot of it too. And many people are telling me that my all electric Tesla is actually bad for the environment because it's powered mostly by fossil fuels. Now, your Tesla might not have an exhaust pipe, but the exhaust happens at the power plant when you charge your car. Yes, indeed it does. So it's polluting the air and it's no better than a gas car. Well, first, let me just apologize for my horrible country accent. But let's find out the actual answer to this question right now. Is my Tesla Model 3 actually bad for the environment if it's powered by coal? The answer might very well surprise you as it did me. First off, I'm a big fan of all electric vehicles, but specifically my Tesla Model 3. And the great thing about electric vehicles is that they have so many benefits that you don't even need to be concerned with saving the planet to want one. In fact, I'd say the main reasons that Tesla owners buy their cars has nothing to do with the environment at all. Most Tesla owners that I've encountered bought their cars primarily because of the technology, fuel savings, safety, or the performance, or just a combination of all of those things. But knowing that my car is entirely electric and powered 100% by a battery with zero tailpipe emissions is just an added bonus of owning one. After I got mine, I noticed that I started to become more green-minded in a sense that I started to resonate with Tesla's mission statement to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. And this led to me making intentional choices that benefit the environment, such as using a bidet, replacing my gas tools with electric versions, and using a smart thermostat to reduce energy usage at home. But electric vehicles are really at the center of the mission as it's well known that they help the environment immensely because they produce much less pollution than gasoline vehicles, or at least they should, because this heavily depends on where the electric vehicle gets its power from. In the case of my Tesla Model 3 and all of its 133,000 plus miles, it's mostly been powered by the dirtiest of all fossil fuels, coal. And coal-fired power plants are a top contributor to climate change. Now to find out the negative impact my Tesla has had on the environment, we need to calculate how much CO2 it has released into the atmosphere, then compare that to a gasoline vehicle's emissions. And you can do this calculation for your own electric vehicle too, especially if you charge at home like I do. Thanks to today's sponsor, Mr. Electric, a neighborly company, which is my go-to electrical services company for all my residential electric needs. Not only did they install my EV charger at my new home, they also performed a complete home safety check of my house's entire electrical system and made the necessary upgrades to my electrical panel in order to support the level two charging speeds for my Tesla. A stable functioning electrical panel is essential to getting the best charge for any electric vehicle. And according to a 2023 survey from Mr. Electric, nearly half of all homeowners surveyed said that the cost savings and energy efficiency were the most appealing reasons to upgrade their electrical panel. Your electrical panel controls the electricity flowing to all areas of your home. Keeping it in good working order will ensure that your lights, appliances, electronics, and EV charger will work when you need them to. Click the link in the description below to talk to your local Mr. Electric about a complimentary electrical panel inspection as part of the home safety check to identify any necessary replacements, upgrades, and rewiring procedures. Now to begin this calculation, we need to know the carbon intensity of the state where the vehicle primarily charges. Carbon intensity is simply a measure of how clean electricity is and refers to how many grams of CO2 are released to produce one kilowatt hour of electricity. Now, electricity that's generated using fossil fuels such as coal is obviously more carbon intensive compared to electricity that is generated by cleaner methods such as renewables like solar, hydro, and wind. Unfortunately, hydropower is about the only significant renewable energy source here in Kentucky and the state ranked last in the country in wind and solar power generation last year. So Kentucky has a whopping 1.73 pounds of CO2 emitted per kilowatt hour of electricity produced. Not good. The only state worse than that is West Virginia. Now, based on my Tesla Model 3's lifetime efficiency, it uses an average of 0.252 kilowatt hours of electricity per mile driven, which means I can travel about four miles using one kilowatt hour of electricity. If we take my state's carbon intensity of 1.73 pounds and divide that by the four miles traveled per kilowatt hour, then that results in 0.43 pounds of CO2 emitted per mile driven in my Tesla Model 3 here in Kentucky. Now to compare that to a gasoline vehicle, you should know that burning one gallon of gas emits about 19.8 pounds of CO2. 
So if we divide that by my car's 0.43 pounds, that means my 2018 Tesla Model 3 is equivalent to a gas car that gets 46 miles per gallon. That is probably much lower than you expected, isn't it? It surprised me because the miles per gallon equivalent for my Tesla Model 3 is supposed to be 130 based on fueleconomy.gov. But keep in mind that 46 miles per gallon number is only referring to the pollution aspect and is not related to the fuel savings. So if my Tesla Model 3 pollutes the same amount as a gas car that gets 46 miles per gallon, does that mean it's bad for the environment? Well, the most fuel efficient non-hybrid gas car with the highest miles per gallon happens to be a Mitsubishi Mirage that gets 39 miles per gallon with its cute three cylinder engine. So my coal powered Tesla in Kentucky is already better for the environment than any pure internal combustion engine vehicle that runs solely off gas. And if I lived in nearly any other state, such as Washington, for example, my Tesla would be nearly 10 times better for the environment because of the low carbon intensity of that state. But the best part about owning a pure electric vehicle, even in a carbon intensive state like Kentucky, is that the CO2 emitted per mile should only improve over time as the power grid gets cleaner and fossil fuels are replaced with renewable energy. If you look at Kentucky's history of CO2 emissions each year, it has gone down drastically over the last decade. So the longer I drive, the better it will become, unlike a gas vehicle, which will keep polluting the same amount. However, a big source of electric vehicle emissions is the creation of their large lithium ion batteries, which can produce more emissions than building a comparable gas car. But the electric vehicle advantage is still huge, with a medium sized EV producing 60 to 68% fewer greenhouse gas emissions over its lifetime on average than a gas powered car. And I eventually plan to get solar panels at home so that my car can be powered mostly by free sunshine with little to no pollution. What do you think about all this? Are you team electric or possibly team hybrid after seeing these numbers? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more tech videos like this in the future and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. My name is Andy. I'll talk to you in the next one.